Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll be discussing about Unix shell scripting. So in this video, we'll be seeing about how to automate a penetration example sample penetration testing using the Bash script. So now we will just see how to automate and pen testing to attack dictionary perform a dictionary attack on a FTP server and gain access to the FTP server by automating using the shell script. So now let's see the demo. So this is my Kali Linux machine here you can see. So now go to the here go to folder and here so open the pentest.sh cell. So this is the file written in the following bash script. So the bash script is used to perform automated reconnaissance on a specified network range for live missions with FTP port open, dictionary attack on the selected IP addresses and reveal user credentials and log into FTP server using the attained credentials. So here you can see the first line of the bash script. This is the following exclamatory mark hash exclamatory mark slash bin slash bash meaning the script should have always be run with bash rather than another shell. And now the t put clear command in the second line clears the screen and puts you at the top of the terminal screen. And then here you can see the echo command. So this echo command is used to display a line of text or string on the standard output or a file. So whatever you type in between the double quotes will be printed on the screen. In this lab, we are performing an nmap scan for live host and FTP open port identification. So here you can see the following nmap hyphen sp and dollar ip range hyphen og out dot text here you can make out so so you can observe the text written in echo command here so here you are going to perform an nmap scan for live host here you can see the following so please enter the scan range so now let's minimize the g editor window and now let's run the bash script so just minimize it so now let's open the command line terminal and now here in the terminal type bash pentest.sh and then press enter so here first here you can see it is stating that here you are going to perform an nmap scan for live host it is the text of the echo command so here it will ask for please enter the scan range so now here minimize the command line terminal window and now let's open the following leaf pad window here so here you can see read ip underscore range here so you can see the read ip underscore range so here whatever you input the the range here will be recorded to the ip underscore range so here in this lab the variable used for addressing the ip address range is ip underscore range So it accepts the input from the keyboard and assigns it to the variable. So now let's minimize it. Hmm. Now let's open the terminal. Now enter the following IP range as the following 172.20.20.8.12. And we selected the IP range from 8 to 12 to use the process and save time. So in this lab you are performing pen testing on subnet D internal mission networks. So now let's so now let's minimize the here command front line and now let's open the following text editor and here after editing here you can see it will perform the following command nmap hyphen sp and then the which is ping script and then 
dollar ip range and then hyphen og out dot text so here hyphen sp is used to identify the live host in the entered ip address range which is dollar ip range graphs the value of ip address range you entered in the read command and hyphen og represents grippable output it is simple format that List each host on one line and can be trivially searched and parsed with standard Unix tools such as script. Once nmap scan is completed, the output is stored to out.txt file. So, by entering nmap s capital P and dollar IP range hyphen O capital G out.txt, nmap is going to perform live host detection and send to the grippable output to out.txt. So, now here. Let's run it here. Press enter. So here you can see starting nmap. So now let's wait and for some time until the nmap completes the ping sweep scan. So here you can see nmap done. Five IP addresses, four hosts scanned up in following here so here you can so here now it will be asking for the next script this script will perform enter the ip address of mission you want to perform ftp deck let's minimize it here now let's open the file browser here you can see the out dot text go to out dot text so here you can see the following host status as up so this is the grippable grippable out format so after this now let's open the following so now let's open the pentest.sh file so here after so here after this you can see cat ftp dot text and cut hyphen d F2. So, so it, so here you can see nmap has performed a scan to identify the host which has FTP port open on them. So here the grep command is used to search the given file out dot text for lines containing to match up the given string up. So by entering the script cat out dot text grep up out one dot text the search is performed for out dot text files for all the lines containing the status of ip addresses as up and these ip addresses are served to out one dot text so here you can view the out one dot text here so status as up here and then the cut command is used to select a portion of text from each line of a file, you can use the cut command to select the fields or column from a line by specifying the delimiter by entering script cat out one dot text and cut hyphen d and delimiter is gap space hyphen f2 open dot text. So the content of out dot text is redirected to cut command where the delimiter is space. So then the field two can see the field 2 will be saved to open dot text file so here now let's open the following open dot text file so here you can see these are the ip addresses available with ftp ports open so now here you can see then it after this it will enter the following it asks you to enter the ip address of the machine on which you want to perform ftp dictionary attack the script will perform dictionary attack on selecting selected host using hydra so it will use the following command hydra hyphen l root slash wordly slash usernames dot text hyphen p and root slash wordly slash password dot text and ftp and then following the ip underscore header read command so here you should be entering the following IP address. So now let's again relaunch our command line and now let's type any IP. So now let's perform the 
you can perform dictionary attack on any of the following so now let's perform now let's select the dot 12 mission let's perform 172 dot 20 dot 20 dot 12 and press enter so here you can see hydra has started has started the hydra command and hydra will be running and you can see the output so this may take up to three minutes to crack the password of the ftp so a dictionary attack will be performed and the ip address you entered in the previous step using hydra so on issuing the ip address hydra begins to perform a dictionary attack on the machine and starts displaying the user credential once it cracks may take around to three minutes to crack the credentials depending upon your lab environment so let's wait for until it displays the results so here you can see the hydra command has cracked two passwords here you can see it has cracked two logins on the following destination machine json martin and you can see it is listing the passwords here you can see also status and tries here so you can see the following time in left for crack the other passwords and here you can see it has also cracked another password so it will be displaying the cracked passwords in real time itself so now let's wait until the hydra command completes totally so now let's this way let's see so after after completing it will display now that you have obtained the credentials let us log into the ftp server and it will ask it will ask the ip address of the ftp server then you should enter the ip address of the ftp server so here you can see hydra has been completed so now that you have completed so now you have to enter the ftp server ip address 172.20.20.12 and then press enter and then it will ask for the password so now you have to enter the username at center json and then it will ask for password enter the password which we have obtained from hydra and now here you can see we have got the message as user logged in remote system type is windows nt so you can see we have successfully logged in into the ftp mission we have gained the credentials so in the same way you may run the script to crack the user credential and access the ftp server hosted in other networks also so now let's close all the open windows in this lab you have successfully performed subnet scan and found the missions having ftp ports open performed and dictionary attack to attain credentials and successfully logged into the server using the obtained credentials so this is how we will be using the bash scripts to automate the pen testing task